Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm the Clumsy Simmer and this is episode 3 of my Horse Range Let's Play. Um, so here is Belle and we are just getting ready for a little bit of a dinner party. Um, Belle's best friend that she hasn't seen in literal ages is coming over. Uh, she has not met Danny yet and so she is so excited for her best friend to meet Danny. And before we get started, I just want to point out the elephant in the room. And that is Belle's legs. Uh, Belle girl, honey, you're not married yet. <laughs> you can't be letting yourself go. Um, something else I want to do is make sure that these Sims do not eat these uh, sliders right here. So let's just go ahead and put it in Belle's inventory. All right, and then Danny is over here. He's just helping. Let's make sure he's helping his boy Dylan with homework. Help with homework and then Little Bailey's over here just playing her little nesting blocks like a cutie. Uh, by the way, guys, it has been a couple of days since the last time you've seen the Reed Parker family, and that's because uh, the the barn, uh, the ranch, was just getting out of hand. We weren't getting any plants. We weren't getting anything done with the cow poor maple was not being taken care of so we had to just i had to play a couple days and get everything situated so uh here we are there's nothing you guys didn't miss anything we literally were just taking care of the car or the the old barn and here is tiffany her best friend uh they actually met in like daycare they were infants <laughs> um actually bell's parents and Tiffany's parents were best friends and that's actually how they met and they grew up together and so she's so excited to see her best friend and she is actually going to be asking Tiffany to be her maid of honor so we are going to be making sure we get that done today as well um are you eating already Belle all right so let's just go ahead and put the food out and call everyone over Tiffany should also have a husband and a toddler <laughs> and the toddler is Bailey's best friend so oh here's Tyson Danny do you want to come get Tyson and bring him inside friendly introduction oh you got to meet him first okay go ahead and meet him first and then you can meet Tiffany so to be honest Danny's a little bit nervous <laughs> so to speak to meet Tiffany because she know or he knows that Belle's opinion what am i saying he knows that tiffany's opinion means the world to bell and so he is really nervous to mess it up he does not want to mess it up at all and that's elliot over there and so we need to meet him as well so go ahead and pick up tyson and bring him inside because his parents didn't do that for some reason <laughs> but here are the girls they're in here just catching up a little bit they're you know haven't seen each other in quite some time, and so they just want to do a little bit of catching up. Deep conversation. There's the food over there. Tiffany, she already found herself uh, some drinks, so she's getting some good, good drinks in. And all right, so did you? Um, you know what? He is not trying to pick up Tyson for some reason. So let's go ahead and. Oh, I thought she was trying to kiss him and he wasn't letting her. I was like, what happens? But no, um, they're just like such a cute couple. And their kid, Tyson, is like literally the cutest. I mean, look at him. Move out of the way, Danny. I mean, look at him. Can you go up the stairs? Oh, he can. Okay. So he's going to make his own way inside. Um, go ahead and meet Elliot and meet Tiffany too. You're being rude. Um, they don't really care about property values right now. Tell a funny story. Give Tiffany a heartfelt compliment that will uh, get her to like you. And we're not ready to brag about the ranch yet. Yes, it's a nice ranch, but we're not going to brag yet. Let's, uh, how about you ask them about their wedding day? And also, thanks for coming. And let's go ahead and discuss some fishing spots and blah, blah, blah. All right, where is Belle? She's in here making sure the kids are getting taken care of. Um, little Bailey, how about you play with Tyson? Tyson's eating. How about you talk to Tyson? They're already best friends, guys. Like, they have known each other since they were born, too. Um, Tiffany and Belle had their babies around the same time. Poor Dylan. He doesn't have any friends yet, so we're going to have to work on that with him. Uh, who are you? 
uh, we don't know you. And we also want to get his character values up as well. All right, Belle. Um, what's up with Mabel? I think... Honestly, I think Dylan needs to come take care of Mabel. All right, guys, I just had to adjust the aging because aging was off. So they're, they are able to age now. That is what we want. We don't want them to be the same age forever. Um, come talk to Mabel. Take care of Mabel. Send home. She needs to go home and, like, eat some food or something. And, all right, what's up with our dinner party? We're not having a very good one. Make a garden salad. All right, let's just go out here and listen to some music. Turn on. Why are you sad? I think she's sad because, um... Bailey hurt her feelings for some reason. All right, listen to ranch. Come over here and just listen to the music, guys. Listen to ranch music. She's playing with Tyson. And then, um, I want these guys to come out too. Call over. Cowpoke dance, not just regular dance, cowpoke dance. All right, guys, honestly, our dinner party's not, like, super boring in The Sims. I mean, there's really not much to do. Look at the stars. They look so pretty here. You know where else they look pretty at in the game is Hinford on Bagley. I was building a ranch house there, like, the other day or last week sometime. And the stars are beautiful there. Um... Tiffany, can you uh, listen to music? Invite to cowpoke dance. Let's get these out of here. These quests, guys. These freaking quests get they get on my nerves. They really do. Oh, she's getting it. Um, can we just pretend that since she's dancing, she's kind of listening to music at the same time? That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> uh. All right, you know what? Let's just forget about that. Let's ask her to be your maid of honor, Sim of Honor. And you, Danny. Where's Elliot? You need to be in here talking to Elliot. He's in here all by himself. What a bad, bad host you are. Oh, did she ask? Guys, I literally missed it. Did she ask to be the Sim of Honor? Let's see. Um, do y'all have um, a wedding planned? Uh, I don't think so. Let's just go ahead and pretend like we're going to plan one. Sim of Honor. No, she didn't ask. Okay, so I didn't miss it. So, um, girl, where are you going? Oh, she's trying to get her kid. All right, but first, if you guys are about to leave, I have to ask you something. All right, come on, Belle. Quit dancing. What even is that dance move? Um, did you lose your tooth? Loose tooth still. How about we just yank it out now? Pull it out. Go ahead, pull it out. Did you pee yourself? Oh, he did it. <laughs> and he has like a little gap now. Sent home so that she can go eat some food. Uh, make sure she has some food here. Ask horse to eat. Ask Maple to eat because she doesn't know how to eat herself. Aw, yay! You know, Belle was actually uh, Tiffany's maid of honor, so it's only right that Tiffany asks her as well. So go ahead and gossip. And uh, yeah, so we are pretty much done with the dinner party. Um, I mean, there's really not more, much more to do, guys. So I'm going to take care of the family and get them all off to bed and I'll see you guys after that because there's really not much to watch here. All right guys, so it's the morning and little Dylan is the first one awake. So, oh, oh, who broke your dollhouse? Um, was it one of our guests last night? <laughs> all right, well, uh, your dad will fix that today. Don't cry, just go take a shower, get ready for school, go down here, get something to eat. Um, get leftovers. And how is Bailey looking? She's looking good. Belle, you are freaking tired. And so is Danny. But Danny's gonna be needing to get up soon and work on the barn. Alright, so I guess Danny went ahead and woke up on his own. I didn't even have to wake him up. He is not fully charged, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, you have a beard and honestly, it kind of is looking good, so we're gonna keep it. We are going to keep that beard. We're gonna need to set that as his preferred beard. I could have sworn he had that already. Did I shave his beard off too much? 
and now it's just back to normal. I don't know, I don't remember. It's been a few weeks in real life since I've played this save. And Bailey, girl, why are you naked, honey? You're hungry. Uh, your mom needs to wake up. She needs to give you some food. Go ahead and go down here and Bailey is going to eat these pancakes. Um, let's go ahead and <laughs> let's just get some clothes on this baby. Um, toddler care. Alright, Dylan is about to head off to school. Danny, you need to come out here and get some work done. So we want to clean poor Maribel. Clean, feed her, interact with her a little bit. Give her a friendly treat so she likes you better. And then just, you know, let's just hug her and give her some attention. Wow, did you see Mabel over there running? <laughs> she is hyper. Belle's going to be needing to do some practice with Mabel today. So once she's done eating, that is what she is going to do. And little Bailey, did you, you're eating your food. Are you going to eat it naked? <laughs> oh, children, children. All right, and then we want to come out. Ooh, we're going to be having some oversized garden vegetables and stuff here, guys. So I'm excited. And then these mushrooms are going to be like, not the oversized, the biggest that they can be, but the next size down. So we're going to be having some stuff here. We're going to be making a little bit of money because their money is lacking. And I'm sure the bills are going to be coming in soon. All right, uh, Belle, let's go ahead and take a shower. Um, she did not have a good night of sleep last night, guys. She is so sorry or um okay so yeah tiffany she can come hang out um okay we don't want to woohoo in the cow shed that's disgusting but we do want to clean up this cat this horse manure and um tiffany's gonna be coming over but you really need to be getting some practice in so go ahead and come over here and like care for mabel brush her coat make sure her hooves are clean and then mount, and we are going to be getting some training in today because um, I want to start getting them in some horse championships. Um, so what? Where are we? So she has level five of temperament, level two of agility, level four jumping, and level four endurance. So let's, I think we can get her in. Let's try like a beginning level. I don't know, either jumping or endurance. So we're we are going to look into doing that today. So after she mounts, okay, so oop, Dylan is getting a principal visit. So today the principal is visiting Dylan's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind Dylan has decided to pelt with him or pelt him with something. Should he ignore it or ask the kids to stop? Uh, ask him, ask him to stop because that's, that's messed up. So Dylan scribbles on a note and passes it back to the kid. Stop or I'll tell. <laughs> what what good old days remember that back in elementary school stop it or I'll tell and that was like the worst thing you could hear the kid wads up the paper and fires it at Dylan but it misses and rolls up the rolls up to the teacher's feet for once somebody else gets in trouble and Dylan gets off scot-free okay awesome good for you Dylan you're you're a good kid um all right we also need to clean the coop and collect eggs and scatter some more feed around. And oh, look at little Bailey. How about you talk to these chickens? Get these chickens in a good mood because I want to have them lay some like fertile eggs. Grandpa Parker is calling to chat. Okay, your dad wants to talk. Um, she is honestly, dad, I'm sorry, but she's trying to get some work in. Your Sam can talk on the phone while on the horse. That's pretty funny. Um, and then she is going to, I know Tiffany's here, but honestly, she can hang out. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. So we are trying to find the board where we can sign up for some horse classes. Is that downtown? I could have sworn they had one here too. Here it is, guys. Did I literally just pat, like my house is right here. And I went around this whole thing looking for it. And you're telling me it's right here. And I never noticed that before. It's shaped like a horse. Interesting. All right, so we are going to come ride over here, trot, and let's enter competition. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Um, we decided on either jumping or endurance, right? Let's do, uh, let's just do endurance for beginners. Um, okay, recommended is three. Okay, we have all that. Belle, she is level eight of horse riding, so that's pretty good. So let's see, let's try to, make some money doing this and in the meantime Danny's gonna be over here still you know 
working on the old barn, watering the old vegetables, fertilizing the old crops, and doing what a good farmer needs to do. All right, come on, Belle. I thought Trot was faster, so I guess Canter is the run. Who's this? Is this your neighbor? Let's uh, introduce to him as well, so we get to know our neighbors. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Just introduce yourself to him first, and then you can enter a competition. Did I just get to... Uh, guys, that is not fair. I'm sorry, but I have to add 100 bucks back because I paid 100 the first time and I canceled it and they didn't give me my $100 back. So I just cheated that back. Okay. <laughs> this, the howdy introduction is kind of cute. Ooh, I thought she was flirting for a second. Um, I'm glad. Okay. You're being friendly. You're being friendly. Um, ask about the community. Danny has collected some eggs. And he discovered what kind of egg? Oh, just an egg. Just a normal egg. Great. All right, let's go ahead and put that in the fridge so it doesn't spoil. There's a fox. Um, uh-uh, boy. You ain't about to steal my stuff. Shoo that thing away. Did he just steal a tomato? That little son of a gun. That little son of a gun. I mean, it's better than like an egg. There was one time, uh, okay, that fox literally did not care. Um, there was one time I had a fox steal a fertilized egg and that was kind of sad. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and harvest. Uh, you need to like spray all of these and all of that. Uh, Belle, she's in her champion or she's in her competition. Another fox? Uh, this is, this is crazy. This is messed up. Do we have the fox? Um, Oh my gosh, they're stealing my stuff. Um, I need to like, I guess, add a gate here, but I don't really want to move that. So let's see what we can do. I love this fence, especially in the white color. I used that in um, a build that I did. I used that white version in that farm that I did here recently, and I think it turned out really good. So let's see, there is a gate. There it is. I want the dark. All right, let's see if this gate works now. Um, and I want to lock it, allow access to, oh, we won! Um, okay, awesome. All those hours of training have paid off as you take first place position in the beginner endurance race. You've set the pace and have nowhere to go but up from here. Your horse gives an appreciative whinny, or, you know, like the sound that horses make as their crown the beginners bracket winner um awesome so we got gold plays or we got a gold medal anyways um okay good job bell that's awesome let's go ahead and grab maple and head home go ahead and mount maple and we're gonna probably get some more practice in because practice makes per perfect and all because you won a competition doesn't mean you know you're the best yet so Okay, you're gonna need to leave, my dear. Unlock so that that fox can leave. And Danny, there is literally bugs over here still. At least I know that this works. So let's go ahead and lock it for everyone besides the household and maybe like chickens and stuff. Belle is so tired. So I guess we're not gonna be getting much practice in. Um, go ahead and after you dig that up, because I wanna know what that is, mount onto Mabel. Oh my gosh, Mabel, really. You just turd anywhere. Literally, you just turd anywhere. Um, oh, and she got a time capsule. So I opened up the time capsule and it was just this cheap buddy. We literally would have got more money just not opening it up. So uh, yeah, at least we got $300 from winning our horse competition. Let's find somewhere to put her our gold plaque. Let's put it out here into like the living room or something on this side yeah we'll put it there for now and then you bell you are gonna go up here and have some sleep because you are tired um why is my sim having a problem dismounting from the horse is that like a bug because it's it's irritating here is tiffany um you literally said you're gonna come way earlier did you not come until now invite inside even though you are so tired, you're gonna have to go to sleep. All right, Papa Reed is calling. So quick question, Agnes, Crumplebottom, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Um, I mean, yeah, uh, she's kind of mean, but go ahead. 
And poor, poor Danny. I mean, this is his job, so he really loves to do it. His needs are not looking too good right now, though. Um, he wants to play ping pong, but he can't. He needs to come in here and work on your needs. Belle's tired, but um, I guess everyone's just going to have leftovers for dinner because she did make two dinners last night. So Dylan and Danny are here sitting together. Danny's just having a meal, and Dylan is doing his homework. Dylan's such a good kid. I don't know if I even, I might have told him to do that, <laughs> but I kind of feel like I didn't. And after dinner, I think we are going to go ahead and adopt a dog, I think. So I'm so excited for that. Um, all right, Danny, I know, I know you're tired, but let's just um, adopt a dog. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see. Um, is there literally a fox in my house? I think I just seen a fox walk into my house. And by the way, I, my dog chose now to eat out of his food bowl. So if you hear a little crunching and munching in the background, that is my dog. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for picking now to eat your food. All right, guys, I really don't know exactly the type of dog that I want to adopt. This Cordy is so cute, but I think I want to get a puppy. So what does Havanese look like? Um, something that I do is look up the breeds of the dogs if I don't know it right off the bat and have any, so that's a, that's a small dog and don't get me wrong, they're cute. They look a lot like Shih Tzus in my opinion, but I don't, I, I got, I want a big dog. Okay. A cockapoo. What a, what a name. <laughs> German Spitz. So like there's, they're all small dogs. Irish Wolfhound, a Schnauzer. I'm not a big Schnauzer fan. Um, I mean, they're all dogs are cute, don't get me wrong, but all of these dogs suck. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not a big fan of a, any of these dogs. All of the puppies are small dogs for the most part. Um, and pretty much they're all small dogs. I'm not even joking. So I think we're gonna hold off on this for now. And maybe in the morning, I'll go ahead and adopt a dog in the morning. And I swear there was a fox in here before I went to adopt a dog. I swear there was a fox walking through my house, but I don't know where it went. So it must have left. <laughs> Uh, but Danny is so tired and so is Belle. So I think everyone's gonna be having like an early night right now Belle is just bathing Bailey because Bailey was so just dirty. She needed a bath bad and She is getting hungry. So after that she's gonna come down here and have a meal And I am also going to check Dylan out to make sure he's all good and happy and stuff And I will see you guys after I get all of their needs fixed Oh no, guys. Oh no, don't tell me it's a fertilized egg. Okay, it's not, it's not hatchable. Thank goodness, but these foxes are just going crazy with these chickens and stuff. I'm gonna have to figure something out. Um, Danny, what is your handiness skill looking like? I think he doesn't have handiness at all. Okay, that's not gonna come in handy. All right, guys, well, it is the next day and let me just tell you, we weren't doing so well. I had to just go take care of their needs and play the rest of the night um, off camera. But we are back and Grandpa Parker is calling and Lilith Pleasant asked him on a date. That is very, very weird. Uh, no, Dad, honestly, I don't think she's a good fit for you. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Uh, so we are also catching up on laundry because there was laundry literally everywhere. So I have Belle doing the laundry and she also needs to jump in the shower. And I'm going to go ahead and have her shave her leg hair too because that is getting out of hand. And there's something stinky in this fridge. So let's figure, oh, there's just a blank plate. Um, oh, and there's something for Danny to fix. You know what, Belle? How about you repair that? Because Danny is quite busy, so when you get out of the shower, you repair that, and you also need to go to the bathroom. And Bailey, I'm gonna have her study some shapes, and we need to get her skills up. She's almost halfway through her toddlerhood, and so she'll be growing up relatively soon. And um, we really need to get these up, especially Potty. I want to at least get her to happy toddler or whatever that trait is she probably won't make it to top notch she might who knows but i'm not very good at potty training toddlers in the sims so we shall see and um bell so i guess bell has a good reputation in the business world <laughs> and um she has a job opportunity uh she's really wanting to focus on her 
horse racing and so she's gonna decline the job offer from the random person that called her wouldn't that be nice to happen in real life like you literally have never worked in an office in your life and you just have a random call let's check on danny he's out here just doing what he does best and he also needs to take care of all the cow and all that good stuff and we are definitely getting a dog today guys even if I have to get a small one, it is what it is. Belle got that sink fix. She's a G. She does not need a man. She just chooses to be with a man. Um, and then we are going to move to the dryer once she goes out there and collects all the eggs and stuff. And she has a couple upgrade parts. I'm going to give that to Danny. He could use that. I actually got him a, like one of those... You know the building tables <laughs> what are those called i'm having a brain fart but i got him one of those so that he can work on his handiness scale spelling b aid so this is for dylan so it's the school spelling b and dylan has made it to the final round but this time he's never even heard of the word he's supposed to spell glancing around the room dylan sees the classic brainiac flash him her notebook with a word written neatly on it should he accept the help or give it his best guess um he's a little cheater let's accept the help Pretending to concentrate, Dylan closes his eyes and recites the letters the girl showed him. Incorrect, snaps the proctor. Dylan loses. The Brainiac falls off her chair laughing along with half the room. It was a mean trick. All right, Dylan, we have learned our lesson. Don't accept help from anybody, especially nerds. I also want to invite Grandpa Parker over so that we can get rid of some of these things that he wants to do. He wants to mentor a child's skills too, so we need to work on that. <gasps> Yay! We got a hatchable egg! Yay! It's poor, but it's hatchable. <laughs> so hopefully those stinking foxes don't come and steal it. Let me let me lock this while I'm thinking of it. Lock for everyone but household. And same goes for that. Bailey, what in the world are you doing, girl? Alright, so uh, Belle, this is the perfect opportunity for you to get onto her. So do a firm talking to. So express disappointment. <laughs> and then clean this up. And she is... I mean, she's doing pretty good. Um, you probably should go up here and take a little bit of a nap. So go ahead and do that sleep inside and little Dylan just got home he's embarrassed from his day of school but you know what we are going to adopt a little dog so can he adopt no I didn't think so oh he can all right let's adopt a dog these are exactly the same ones from yesterday guys so I guess I'm just going to choose one um let's just grab a couple so I want to meet Duchess I want to meet Queen Cupcake and and I know I said I wanted to adopt a puppy, but let's just go ahead and meet Cashew as well. So let's go ahead and get them to come over and we'll choose one. All right, guys, that's the moment of truth. Let's let little Dylan meet all of them first. Look at him over there doing sit-ups. Do a cautious introduction to each of them. I don't know, guys, we might be getting two and then I'm gonna feel bad if I don't get all of them, but we can't be doing three dogs. We can't even afford it. We can barely afford one. Oh my gosh, are they not all so cute? Uh, this puggle has a little curly cute tail though. Oh, he's mean. Okay, so we're not gonna get Duchess. <laughs> oh, Cashew's nice. We might be getting Cashew, guys. I like Cashew. And I like the name Cashew too. And where's the little one? Here is the other, here's Queen Cupcake, that's funny. Let's do a cautious introduction to her as well. So Cashew's following him. Okay, so I think we found, oh, she's mean too. All right, so we are going to adopt Cashew. She's the only one that's nice. <laughs> Aw, she is definitely the one. I'm glad that we had Cashew come. She's a couch potato. <laughs> okay, so he can't do the physical adoption, but Danny can. So go ahead and adopt Cashew. Danny, what is the problem? She's nice to Danny too, so she's nice to everybody. Can you adopt her, please? Why? I'm about to just add her to the family and take 200 out because why is she not? Why can we not adopt? All right, we're adding her to the family, guys. For some reason, it's not letting me do the whole adoption. So we're going to add to family and I'm just going to take 200 away. Um, all right, so it's 9-11, so it needs to be 7-11. Set it. Minus 200. So it's it's like uh, we never cheated. So now we have a dog, guys. All right, so we can end the adoption now. We're not gonna get any of the other two mean puppies there. They're puppies, they'll get adopted so quick. 
All right, um, and adoption valuation. And oh, <laughs> I've never seen the child play in the rocking chair like that. And then he is going to pet and play and get to know Cashew. He's Danny, I'm sure is, or not Danny, but Dylan's probably so excited. So I do want to get a big dog eventually. Um, we'll just have to wait a little bit. We need to get the bank account up. <laughs> wait, Belle, fill the food up. Papa Reed. Oh good, I'm glad you and Agnes had a blast together. Belle's gonna do a friendly introduction to one of the puppies. Please don't be nice, because then I'm gonna feel like I have to get you. Oh, he must be aggressive. Duchess right there, he, she, whatever. Oh, she's being nice, oh no. Well, are you able to adopt her? For some, why am I having a problem adopting? I don't know why, but um, oh my gosh, they're cuddling on the couch. That's adorable. Um, well, I guess with this, we have a new addition to the family, guys, and I'm so happy we finally adopted a dog, even though I wanted it to be a puppy, but this little corgi cashew is so stinking cute anyways, and I don't know. I need to look to see if it's a boy or a girl, but they just love Dylan so much, and Dylan loves that dog already. Can you tell? Um, with this, guys, I guess this is going to be the end of this part right here. I hope you enjoyed this third part. I almost decided to not do any more of this Let's Play. Um, I'm not... It's not getting like that many views, but it's not doing horrible either, so I'm just going to continue doing it. I hate starting something and not finishing it so I will finish this and um who's this in my house who are you dude um I gotta figure out who this strange guy is that just came into my house guys but anyways guys I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one bye guys